So today I'd like to talk to you about classical conditioning, or what's sometimes called Pavlovian conditioning, because it comes from research by Ivan Pavlov. So Pavlov was interested in digestion, specifically salivation in dogs. So dogs, and all creatures really, will salivate in response to food. But Pavlov noticed that his dog started salivating before the food actually reached their mouths. They were responding to other stimuli in the environment. So he wanted to test this to see if he could get the dogs to salivate in response to a neutral stimulus that became associated with the food. And he found that he could. So classical conditioning isn't too hard to understand. Most people seem to catch on pretty quickly to what's going on. The problem is that people don't always see how classical conditioning can happen outside of this very contrived setting, like a lab. So today I'd like to talk to you about a time that I was classically conditioned in a natural environment um, by natural events. So to tell you a bit about the situation, um, I went to college in a small Kansas town in this small campus covered with trees. And every winter, often during finals week, we would have ice storms. So ice would coat all of these trees. And as you can imagine, when branches get coated with ice, they get very heavy and they come crashing down, usually onto our heads. So, like I said, this happened during finals week. There was no escaping being on campus as we were going to and from our exams. And often, branches would come crashing down on our heads, leading us to respond by shielding our heads and ducking. It's kind of a reflex response. Fortunately for us, these branches don't come crashing soundlessly down. They're usually preceded by a crackling sound. So, crackling above our heads, branches come crashing down, shield our head. Crackle, branch, shield. So that's when something really strange happened. After a couple of times of branches falling down and shielding our heads, one time there was a crackling sound and I quickly reached up and shielded my head without even thinking, even before the branch had come crashing down. I had been classically conditioned to respond to this neutral stimulus of crackling because it had become associated with the branch and shielding my head. So you can see how this is actually a pretty useful response. You get that many more seconds to shield your head and hopefully protect yourself from injury. So classical conditioning can happen really at any time, anywhere in the world, and it can lead to some really helpful and survival responses. So classical conditioning is about much more than salivating dogs. It's also about protecting a college student's head from ice-covered branches. Thank you.